three months into their stewardship of Tanyapura, Phuket Today talks to CEO Michael Gilliam about how he and Chris McCormack are shaping the future of the sports complex. I never saw myself in Asia, I have to be quite honest. But now that I'm here, uh, I'm very thankful that I chose, to, uh, or we've been able to choose Thailand as the venue. It's an amazing country, the people are amazing, the culture is just um, outstanding, you know. Uh, and I'm very impressed with a lot of aspects of the society and I'm hopeful that we can add to that. So, you know, on a personal nature, I couldn't ask for any more. Um, can we do more? Yes, we can. Can we help more? Yes, we can. And can we achieve more? Yes, we can. Chris has uh, been very busy offshore promoting the company to many regions of the planet. Uh, he's just come back from about an eight week uh, trip, which has seen him uh, in Dubai, Bahrain, uh, Hong Kong, Singapore, uh, Taiwan, China. So we've uh, been pretty busy on the commercial face of the business. You know, we're building a boarding school at the moment. That's one of our big phases we're going into. We're going to have uh, uh, 56 uh, available spots for boarding and that's going to be a brand new two million dollar plus that's us dollars plus building and that's building built right now you might even hear some of the, the noises in the background is the actual building going on we're looking to open in august with that and then we'll be having a uh, ejessa program elite junior sports academy uh, program which we hope to un unearth to the sons and daughters of thailand and find potential olympians to represent thailand uh, Brazil may be a little too early, but definitely for Tokyo. Young Nock, he's our uh, ambassador for the boarding school. Um, uh, Nock's a tremendous 1500 metre boy uh, in the pool, and also not too bad at the uh, 400 as well. So we'll be looking for Nock to be that face of the boarding school. We've also got a great tennis player, a Davis Cup player in uh, Wishire. Wishire, Trong Cheron Chaiku who's, uh, it's a big name sometimes. Wishai is also heavily involved with our tennis program down here, and he is also an ambassador for the property. And uh, once again, it's just trying to get the youth of Thailand to understand that they could be potentially an Olympian or a world champion in whatever sport that they choose. We'll be staging somewhere this year in the vicinity of 70 events here. Those are events that are along the sporting nature, uh, trying to get uh, the public of Thailand and our tourist friends, uh, all nationalities involved. We've got the big glow run, which is going to be a very interesting concept. It's going to be a nighttime run and everyone will be fluoroed up and glowing and everything as they do participate. But we've got triathlons, which have been here before. We've got swim meets, which we've had great success with. Uh, we're negotiating for an international triathlon to actually be staged in and around here. Um, we're looking at cycling events for the property as well uh, in the local area. And maybe some uh, fit competitions to see who can be fit and some team style games as well. The old days of when I was at school, I don't know if it's still the same, but we used to have blue house, red house, yellow house, green house. Well, we might be trying to instigate something like that and having maybe the Tanyapura Olympics, uh, which would uh, require a whole team event structure put together. So we've also got the rugby, the soccer, and as I said, our scholarship program is most probably one of our proudest achievements. We've had uh, Philip von Hardenberg now join us in. He's joining uh, only this week. He has announced as the uh, president here for us on a, a grander scale, allowing us a, a greater access to the higher end part of the world and, and getting us some respect in that area. So it's, it's great to have Philip on board with us. Uh, we're very fortunate here, the Thai crew that we have are uh, sensational. We have uh, just on 330 staff, and uh, of which 288, I think, are, are Thais and we're looking to improve them as people, improve them as uh, service oriented people, improve them in their jobs, and, and hopefully have that washed down to being better parents or better sons or better daughters of Thailand. And it's the old story, and Kennedy said it, it's not ask what the country can do for you, but to ask what you can do for the country. And if we can instill that and have that belief with our, with our approach, then maybe that'll trickle down to the, the people that are uh, using Tanyapur and experiencing Tanyapura.
From hornbills to macaws, toucans to cockatoos, an exaltation of exotic avians awaits you at the Phuket Bird Park with spectacular shows at 10.30 a.m., 1.30 p.m., and 3.30 p.m., the Phuket Bird Park will amaze and amuse you with its cast of feathery performers. The Phuket Bird Park, near the Botanic Garden in Chillong, is open daily from 8.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. Looking for a stress-free visa run? Let us help! Phuket Visa Law Office can pick you up anywhere on the island with daily runs to Andaman Club Hotel and Casino, Renong, and Penang. But if you're tired of visa runs every month, we can help as well. Phuket Visa Law Office can give you professional legal advice for all kinds of visas. Visit PhuketVisa.com or call 081-892-9960.